You're in the dark, yo. It's dark. I look out. It's when a boogeyman comes out. My hair ain't too great, though. I just woke up from a nap. I want to tell you guys a little something about me. Alright? Well, as we go, I will. I'll let you know a few things about me. I, I don't share a lot about myself for a reason. Uh, I just don't. But as far as sharing information, I'll share all I can. Now, let's get into another healthcare topic here. Uh, Psychiatry. Uh, I just watched the other day at the news, BBC, British Broadcasting Communications. That's a good channel to watch. Watch channel 104 in your cable boxes. You know, CNN and all those other ones. That They're mostly about America. They say they're worldwide, but they're really pumped up about America. 104, BBC, or whatever channel it is for you on your box, wherever you are, in the world or in this country. <coughs> By the way, I have a license. <coughs> Here, can I get for medical marijuana? So this looks like I'm smoking one. Yeah, it's nighttime. I am. It's what I need it, is at night. <coughs> when it happened to me in a dark place, it happened in a very dark place. So I first sort of feel safer at night. I like the nighttime, but it's when I need it. I'm alone. Anyway, I cry a lot. So there's something about myself that just kind of came out. Anyway. One more, one more plug. This will this be done, but it's Connecticut. It's medicinally, I have the medicinal license for it. So anyone, uh, the police or anyone who thinks they're going to get me for smoking a joint on TV, well, sorry, I have the medicinal license for it. The old actual cure for me, because I have PTSD. It was sadly mistaken to be a psychiatric disorder. BBC said they had just begun. I turned two things on BBC. What is the 67 percent, approximately 67 percent of all people sitting in all psychiatric wards at the very at this very moment or any given moment, most likely suffer from PTSD. They just haven't been asked. Did anything happen in your childhood where you were seriously hurt, or emotionally hurt, or say mentally hurt, mentally, emotionally, and physically hurt? Generally, it's all three. Or you were extremely hurt. Well, I was at 13 years old, as we all know. Anyway, so as far as you uh, people out there who think, law enforcement think you might get me on this, sorry, it's another little bit of education for people. This stuff really works. It's the only thing that ever did work for me. Sure, I've taken many psychiatric medications, all kinds of psychiatric medications. It's called I had many diagnoses along the way from many psychiatrists. They didn't all agree. In fact, one of them told me that what I was taking wasn't doing any good for me after like 50 years of taking it. I, I said to him and the nurse that was given to me for that 15 years, I said, well, maybe you two aren't doing any good for me. And they left. Their name was Dr. Gantz and Bruce Liebson from Tender Loving Care here in Stanford, Connecticut. And also Dr. Gantz from Grinch Hospital. He's no longer there. He got fired. Then I heard he was the worst doctor ever there. One of the worst psychiatrists in the whole area. Well, thanks a lot. Stick me with him. I do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. At least this isn't a. Uh, this is not really in my face. Excuse me. Allergy season also. Had to help. Combination. I smoke cigarettes. That crap. That allergy season all together. I don't know. And this this stuff that they're giving in Connecticut. Actually, I found out it's THCA. There's some kind of acid mixed with it. Now, I'm not sure about this acid. My throat has been feeling like I have acid reflux for the last, because it's going down past my throat. <coughs> it, <coughs> I'm about THC acid. THCA versus just THC. That's what you get in regular weed that you get on the street. THC. And I can get this is good weed on the street for less with just THC in it, pure, with nothing sprayed on it, no extra crap on it, just THC. Even this lab in Connecticut is messing with the plant, putting some on it, like a drug dealer would. Okay, drug dealers add extra shit to it in Connecticut all around the country. Then they like, spray a little bit of heroin on it, so you get more, spray a little bit of heroin on it, so you get more addicted, so you come back from more faster. So you're smoking more like heroin than you would, say, pot. Because one little joint will keep you going for a while. You don't need a lot. It doesn't take much. It's not really a high. It's not like you get really euphoria out of it. A little bit when you first start smoking it. Like you get the munchies and things like that. But that goes away real quick. There's no euphoria for me. 
I just smoked. You see me get euphoric? You see me cracking up? Do I look like I'm about ready to crack up to you? No, I don't, I don't think so. You think I'm about ready to start eating right now? No, I ain't hungry. I ain't got no dry mouth. You do. You adapt to it pretty much. It belongs in any way. Hey, look at my hair. It's kind of Indian. I woke up like this. I my mohawk going. So, check it. You see me at my worst when I first woke up. See, I'll show myself anyway. You know about bullshit. Do I get dressed up? Here, see, look, I'll show you. Can I get all dressed up for you? Never mind. I'd put on a show like the weatherman or like the guy in the news. I'd do it that. No show here. No big show. Anyway, I was saying, the psychiatric medications, since they've just begun on BBC, they stated that so 67% of people have PTSD. It makes sense in our country. After many wars, you know, war after war after war after war, that we'd have generation after generation after generation. It almost might run in our blood here in America, PTSD. I don't think it can because it's from an experience. But we have many generations, especially men, who have PTSD. And you wonder why we have all this domestic violence in this country. I mean, if you gave the men the ability to smoke weed, even some police forcemen, they might want a little weed too. Military guys, depending on what they've seen in action, they could still work on the base. Maybe they got hurt, whatever. They could still work on the base, or they've seen a lot of crap and they develop PTSD. That's why the guys in Vietnam smoked, because they needed it to avoid the, you know, to avoid the feelings you get when you see that kind of thing so much. Anyway, those are the guys I feel for the most because of what happened to me. But anyway, you know, if we address that issue, maybe that would be good. Um, also, you know, I was thinking maybe I'd like I'd like to try for it, Governor of Connecticut, because I don't think this is going to get very much further than Connecticut, but this Malloy character, I don't know what he's doing. I would mean, talk about mostly Connecticut. You know, what's happened with me. I'll tell you what. Now that I got the medicinal marijuana, thank God for the lawyer. I'm not kind of like him. He's all right, but he's a lawyer. He has no business. The United States says die in state economically. You want business? Well, I could do it, but I'm not going to share how I could do it over, over the uh, over the YouTube. No way. Probably have a bunch of rich people come to find me. Fucking you know, beat the crap out of me. They hate me. My idea of how to make... Um, how to make this state rich again? Oh, it's super rich. and uh, I mean, beyond rich. You know, I've been thinking a lot of rich guys now, probably. It's those super rich people like David Letterman, who lives around here in Darien somewhere. And also, there's like Regis. Regis Philbin, I've never heard of him. He had the Regis show. He's retired now, but he lives in Greenwich somewhere. The Bushes, they used to live in Greenwich. People like that. It's beyond rich. You know, there's like Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, there's everyone with the shops there. They're the rich. The middle class, the upper middle class, and say the poor even might go there. But the super rich get to go beyond the beyond. So they get things like super things. Like they get to move behind that door, like in that movie. Anyway, beyond rich. Anywho, we'll come back in the next video and maybe I'll have something for you. I got another cup of tea and I stick a nap. You see my hair. <coughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll go with that look.